<laughs> Kisara, the literal mom of the group. Head for the hidden underground dock under west. So, northeast, south. I mean, no, northeast, south. Okay. So, it'll be over this way, right? E. Northeast, south. Yeah, so it'd be down here. All she's missing is offspring. Yeah, I don't take too hard with how she looks. Considering Kisara is essentially a literal walking talking mom. Yeah. Hey, what do you say we fight that shining enemy? Oh. I was about to say, what the heck is shiny enemies you talking about? But no, it's this thing right here. I've got a really bad feeling about this. Burn in hell! You're right on me! Watch this! No, 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 you require help. Here, do it! I'll end you! Kisara, I'll stop your movement! And I'll stop your life! Yeah, Law is turning into a literal juggling machine. <laughs> Am I on a roll or what? Well, look who's in a bright and shiny mood. Okay, where are all these shining enemies all of a sudden coming from? Oh, oh man. I hope I live I long enough to regret it. Primed and red. Perfect knuckle! Here! Flame of fury! I'm on burning! Burn. Glacial spear! Here's the evil! on the ropes. Don't forget to heal your wound. Uh, I think it's down here we gotta go, right? Yeah. Because if we gotta go down to the water, you'd think we had to go, you know, north, east, south, west. Son of a bitch. But hey, we haven't gone down here yet, so I'm gonna go down here anyway. Add in lake. Oh wait, this is a. I think Hoodle senses an owl around here. There's a there's an artifact down here. Why didn't the Renans take advantage of all of these ruins around here? It seems like a missed opportunity. Most likely because it would be inefficient for harvesting astral energy. That's what dictates the current positions of each realm's capital. Plus, Renans are averse to using anything that belongs to the Danans. I imagining things, or are there a lot of big zoogles in this area? No, I noticed that too. There's plenty of food and water to go around here. For a zoogle, this just might be paradise. Great, that's exactly what I wanted to hear. Yeah, there's gotta be a spot for... <sighs> that enemy looks strong. I bet it'll be worth our while to fight it. It's so weird thinking about the fact that, like, oh, you yeah. guys want to rest here? There's a new travel point. Torn ACL. Yep. Let's 
see. Um. Actually, Law needs Law needs some new outfits. So. Or a new armor. Okay, I don't think he's gotten new armor in a hot, hot minute. Did we really just spend that much money? Should I cast my line? <laughs> All right. Come on. got a good size to her, all told. That flapper was a true fighter. Let's see. Um, oh, this is what I'm looking for. Uh, flat track. <clears throat> all right. Come on. Anybody there we can go. reel in that. <clears throat> Not too shabby, friend. Right. Um, I think I've caught most. Everything looks fine with the lure. All right, let's do this. Ha! There we go. Come on. There we go. I'll catch something bigger next time. You take your fishing pretty seriously. Yeah, let me not push my luck with the fishing and... Oh, that's a big zoogle. So I know who the hell thought that naming There's the monster type in this game zoogles was a good idea. Hey, I'll see you again tomorrow. I think we've rested long enough. Let's keep moving. Gotta break through! Oh, this is what this is what uh, Vito was talking about. Here's a healing arc. Thunderblade! Too much to handle? Oh, now I'm real mad. Hurt, Mark! Flame of 
Gotcha. What element are you? Oh, you're Earth? Oh, you that is not a good idea for you, man. Uh, where is it? Spread and I'll crush you! <laughs> Lightning reflexes! Tenebrous claw! Eat this! All disaster! You pick the wrong spot! No further! Of course. That's what my shield's for. Get behind me! Got it. I'll leave it to you. First strike. Sleep now. In here. Healing circle. Blah, blah, blah. Now, let's go. First strike. This one's blood. Talent hurricane. Dance in the wind. Sleep now. In here. It's one. Two. Mail strike. And three. I'll crush you! <laughs> Lightning reflexes! Tenebrous claw! Dark wind! I had my watch! Do it! Totally! In an instant! Impact claw! That'll teach us for getting cocky. Where? There we go. So there's a guy over there. We need to go. I think he. I think it's another healing dude. Yep. Hey, didn't we find a recipe that? Yeah, we can use this for it. Okay, I think I'm in the wrong area. Like we got them all. Garachi's favorite thing is thing is to eat according to So we gotta, we do have to fight him. I thought I could get around him. No, 
on the ropes don't forget to heal your wounds i sense this should be an artifact yeah blade is ceiling there we go and now that we have blade of ceiling and of course it's uh, a soul caliber weapon yeah Oh, you can turn on turn this stuff on and off. Okay. I guess if you want to farm out proficiency, you can do that. Also, if you're a crazy person who wants to make tails difficult. Um. So yeah, there's like uh, I gotta go all the way back over here. Looks like we made it here in one, one piece. The Vermilion. I'll see you again tomorrow. And sleep. So, what's everybody else up to, though? I think we've rested long enough. Let's keep moving.
think Hoodle senses an owl around here. Ah. Nice. Be plenty of ruins around here too. So another fishing spot. Town bustling with people back in the day. For crown contest participants, places such as these are but vectors for the astral energy they pursue. Similar to that windmill, for instance. Do you think this is one of the places where the Dark Wings and Almadria fought? I wouldn't be so sure. This place appears more ravaged by time than combat. Even if there are signs of destruction, it would likely have taken place during the Great Conquest of 300 years prior. And ever since, it's been a breeding ground for Zoogles, I guess. All right, let's see. What kind of fish can hey, I get from here? What do you here? think about that spot? Good idea. Um, I'll go for that one. <sighs> I've got something. I still find it weird though that we still had that meme for the longest time where like well, you're not a JRPG if you don't have fishing you sure or you don't doing. have cooking mini games. Oh. Size tour, all told. Hopefully, it's better than it looks. Huh. You guys want to rest here? Uh, anything new from you, my guy? RPGs uh, after 2003 uh, don't know how to fish. All they know is how to charge their super attack meters, perks, be metrosexual, eat food buffs, and retry. <laughs> Fire and water damage, increase aggro, elemental attack plus 60. Make enemies more likely to target you. I mean, I could take this. Because then I can just. Roll that on somebody else. you with the aggro and you can get this I mean I could give her penetration if she wanted to I'd like to check their wares if you don't mind Reaper
A dead end? No, there's an elevator. It looks operational. I can't believe there's actually an underground harbor here. There are even boats docked. I only see Dan's. Think they were forced to work here? Probably. Let's see what they have to share about Almadria. Now retreat. You didn't happen to see a lord come by, did you? Sorry, friend, but she just left. Came by with a whole posse of underlings, boarded her ship, and took off at first wind. We damn near got blown away. She was that much in a hurry. Damn! So we missed her! You guys trying to go after her? Need a ride? Are you saying you know how to steer a ship? Spent most of my life chained to the deck of some ship or other. Yeah, I know my jib from my boom. We don't know how dangerous it'll be. Better you give us the boat and stay on solid ground. Whoa there! You been out on the water before? The sea ain't nobody's friend, you know. You need a sea dog like me or you'll sink her before she makes it out the harbor. We're losing time. Sir, we're in your debt. Now that's more like it. Name's Mahavar. Just give me a holler when you're all set and we'll set sail. So now we have a boat. That seems to be what we're going with. This is like a dream come true. Never gotten a captain a ship before. Never would have thought I'd get a chance like this. Thank you, y'all. The pleasure's all ours. Think we'll catch up to her? Of Course we will. They got too much weight on them. Meanwhile, this ship's carrying nothing but us salty scalawags. They got a good head start on us, but we can take them. Do you know if there are any Danons on that ship? Couldn't say for sure. On the one hand, seeing as it's supposed to be something of another castle, I'd reckon they probably wouldn't let a bunch of Danons on board. On the other hand, I'd be real surprised if the Renans were able to pilot that thing all by themselves. In any case, it's gonna be a while before we reach her. Until then, you're all free to do whatever. Just don't fall in the ocean. I know Mahavar said we could take it easy, but... How we exactly disbanded. ...to do on this boat. I guess I'll check in on everyone and see how they're holding up. It's not a Tales game without a ship. And it's not a Tales game if we aren't fucking around for a few hours. has to do with right? future trunks impersonation the floor it, it keeps moving how can you stand it how can you even stand i'm not the best person to ask about discomfort i can't feel pain remember i still can't believe what happened in niaz even now as a lord my expectations for almadria were already pretty low but the way she treated human lives like they're mere playthings yeah, and it wasn't as if the situation in Niaz was improving much to begin with. You mean Deadeye? 
The whole reason I started fighting back was because of my anger at the atrocities of Renan rule. Back then, all I had to worry about was fighting the Renans for the sake of the Danans. But then I met Shion and the people of Menencia, and things became a lot more complicated. It's even messier now that we have to worry about Danans like Deadeye. It used to be that the Danans were the ones in the right, and the Renans were the ones in the wrong. Though, maybe that was just a biased perspective from being on the side of the oppressed. Exactly. I'll never tolerate the Renans ruling over us, but nothing ever ends up being as black and white as you'd expect it to be either. That's clear to me now. That said, even putting aside bad apples like Deadeim for a moment, you may be able to free the Danon people, but that won't undo 300 years of oppression. It'll be hard for them to not give in to their resentment. I think maybe that's why I clung to our dream so hard back in Menencia. Even if his motivations weren't pure, Doalim has a good heart. He didn't sink to the depths Almadria did. You don't understand. I'm saying that it goes deeper than that. This hierarchy we live in, it's not solely something the Renans invented. I remember a story Rinwell once told me. She said before the Renans invaded, we Danans had our own class system. We are the ones who divided ourselves. I saw it in Deadeim's eyes. He wanted to rule over others. To hear Bayfon tell it, Deadeim wasn't always that way. But as time went on, and he and the Darkwings fought the Renans, he eventually changed. I guess what I'm getting at is, if we defeat the Renans but just go back to the way things were before, was there even any point in fighting? But that world isn't the one you want to create, right? Maybe not. But to tell you the truth, these days I'm not so sure that dream is even possible. You have your promise to Megal, though. Your home and the people of Menencia are depending on you. I know. My brother. He truly believed in his dream of coexistence. And I suppose, even now, many people still do. And then, there's you. Who, me? You and Xion. <clears throat> Not sure I follow. Okay, then let me spell it out for you. How many other Renans and Danans do you know that get on as spectacularly as the two of you? I don't know that I <laughs> say spectacularly. Well, I suppose it's really all a matter of how you look at it, isn't it? I really don't see what you're getting. Oh my Oh my god. You you know it's you know it's bad when your your entire crew is calling your ass out on it, dude. Just accept that it is a thing and I move on. I'm seasick again. Sorry. Can you just give me a wide berth for a few minutes? took a look around inside the ship just in case, but I didn't find anything that looked like it might be suspicious. Thanks. I appreciate it. You know, it wasn't until I left Calaglia that I finally realized just how big the world is. When we tore down the wall in Calaglia, and I could finally see the horizon in the far-off distance, I had the exact same thought. Yeah, somehow the sea is different, though. I'm not sure just how to put it. It's almost as if it just goes on forever. I bet my old All right, Aaron Yeager, calm down. Away by this view. Yeah. Ever since he died, I've been thinking about what it was that he was really trying to say to me at the end. I keep going over his words again and again. And heck, maybe I'm just overthinking it all. Sometimes I wonder if it could have turned out differently. If there was something I could have done. But no matter how much I play it back, I'm still no closer to finding any answers. And then there's everything with Rinwell. I stopped her from killing Almadria, but was that really the right thing to do? Or did I just end up making things harder for her? I feel like such a screw-up. You're not the only one. I keep asking myself what Zephyr would have done had he been here. Like I think, how would Zephyr have handled Rinwell? Yeah, I think he definitely would have stopped her. No doubt about it. And that's exactly what you did, Law. 
I think he'd be really proud of you. Alfin. Zephyr's not the worst yardstick to measure ourselves against. Let's both do our best to make him proud. Sounds like a deal. Thanks, Alfin. Asbel or Law? Uh, Law. Law just reminds me too much Hold of Aaron before season two in the anything. final season. Any artist who'd see fit to paint me needs their eyes tested. What can you tell me about Almadria? Not as much as you'd probably wish. I only ended up crossing paths with her a handful of times after I was chosen to be a lord on Lenigus. Ah, right. I almost forgot about Lenigus. How much do you think they know about what's been- It's safe to assume they know everything. Though I know not why they choose to remain uninvolved. Perhaps they see what's been happening as just part of the ongoing crown contest. Even what Almadria did? Has it really reached the point where her actions are seen as normal? Not to my knowledge, no. At its core, the crown contest is a competition to see who can amass the most astral energy. And to amass such energy, slaves are needed to collect it from. It's therefore against the Lord's interest to kill them. So then why would Almadria do something like that? We must remember that time is running out in the Crown Contest. Perhaps her hand was forced, so to speak. It is a way to accrue astral energy faster and in larger quantities than through slave labor. Doing so kills off that labor force, obviously. But it is a means to an end, nonetheless. No one could have foreseen that something like the Hollowing would arise back when the contest was first conceived. Is becoming the Sovereign of Rena really that important to the Lords? Of course. It's the greatest prize one can attain in their eyes. In that respect, at least. I'm really not that surprised that Almadria resorted to what she did. As utterly despicable as it is. It's reassuring to hear you feel the same way I do. I worry that the only reason I never did anything similar in Menencia was due to my lack of ambition. If you didn't want to be reminded of your past, you could have just plugged your ears. You think too highly of me. I'm afraid I must respectfully disagree. I'm not nearly as virtuous of a person as you might wish to believe. If that's so, would you have been so shaken up when Kisara lost her brother? Why else would you turn your back on your own kind and choose to fight for Megal's dream? Aren't we just Danans? A curious choice of words. Did what you see in Mahog Sar hit you that hard? What Deadheim did to that city? He didn't liberate anyone. Anyone who refused to follow him was an enemy in his eyes. Three hundred years of Renan rule taught him nothing. What I have come to understand is that the conflict ex I mean to bring about a true, lasting coexistence in Menencia. But there are more walls we must topple first. And you don't think you can pull it off? Well... You seem to think you can, at least. Does that make us enemies? Insofar as an exchange of swordplay, no, it doesn't. Not good enough for you? Are you really... <sighs> Forgive me. I will continue to fight by your side a while longer. That much I have decided.
So now we're gonna talk to you. I'm sorry, she gets a cutscene? Are you serious? She gets a cutscene, nigga? Think Law is okay? If you're worried, why don't you ask him yourself? Yeah. I think maybe I should apologize to him too. I should apologize to all of you, really. Nigga, she gets a cutscene. Us you can too. tell Bandai cared more about Rinwell well, than anybody I was else. I kinda lying to you all this whole time. I was blind to everything except my own revenge. I never even considered the struggles all of you might be facing. We all have things we prefer to keep to ourselves, Rinwell. So what if you had something to hide? It doesn't undo the good that you've done, or the people that you've helped save along the way. But that's not what I mean. I know. You're talking about Almadria, right? Yeah. I hate her, Alfin. I can't stop hating her. Even just thinking about her makes my head feel like it's going to explode. But it's not just her. I think about the way Law looked at me. I hated the Lord who killed my parents. And I hated the Renans I had to travel alongside. And yet, Cislodius Danans backstab each other like it's a normal way of life. And Mahog Sar has people like Deadeye. But then there are people like Law and Xion. It's all just too much. I don't know what to think anymore. Law never said that you had to forgive Almadria. It's only natural you would hate your family's murderer. But... But what? Law left home because of how much he hated his father. As a result of that, well... I think Law spent a lot of time thinking about how they never got to make things right. <sighs> and if I had to guess, killing Ganabel didn't make any of those feelings go away. Law let revenge fuel him, and I think now he's afraid you'll do something you'll regret. Afraid? Whatever happens to Almadria when this is all over is up to you. I'll respect whatever choice you make. Just think it over carefully for me, okay? You still have time. Okay. Thanks, Alfin. Say, um, back then, after the fight, I think I really made Xion mad. I don't know, though. Maybe it just looked that way. But, I guess, I just can't seem to understand how she feels. Do you know why she gets like that? Xion's... She can be a tough nut to crack. She doesn't really talk a whole lot about herself. It's just what she said about hate being a source of strength. Where did that come from? I wonder how it feels, not being able to hold another person's hand. that we have another cutscene right because literally only the girls except for Kisara get a cutscene keeping an eye out for Almadria's ship I'm looking at the ocean the ocean yeah the waves they help me think This world is filled with natural wonders. The icy air and white peaks of Cislodia, the lush green glades of Menencia, the harsh wastes of Calaglia. But Menencia has its lake of death, 
And Nia's, its ruins. And they wouldn't be there if it weren't for that contest. Say we actually managed to put a stop to the crown contest for good. What do you think will happen between the Danans and the Renans then? You first. Well, I... I want to believe that the coexistence we saw in Menencia can happen elsewhere, too. It's just... it's insane for all of us to keep fighting. If Menencia can do it, so can everyone else. Yeah, I think that would be good, too. A world where everyone can get along. At least, that's what I've come to believe. You sure have changed. I can't lie to you. Since I was young, I've looked down on the Danans, too. But I've seen a lot. And I see things differently now. I've seen so many ugly and terrible things in this world. And yet, they didn't come from just the Danans. And the good things, too. They didn't come from just the Renans. Kindness and cruelty exist on both sides. A person's race doesn't factor into it. So, I guess you're right after all, Alfin. I have changed. You know, I've never actually touched another person like this. Oh my god, just fuck already! Ever since I was on Lenegas, I've always been alone. Even after I came to Dana. Always. And now? <sighs> Do you still not remember your past? No. Sometimes it feels like I can almost remember. But then this mask stops me. The mask keeps you from remembering why you have the mask in the first place. It's a little ironic, isn't it? A little. <sighs> well, it won't be long now before you're rid of those thorns, you know? <sighs> Only two lords remain. And once you have their master course, you'll be able to create the Renis Alma. Right? Then you can... Uh... <laughs> Shion? Sorry, it's nothing. Promise. <sighs> You're right, though. It'll all be over soon. I never could have made it this far on my own. I have everyone to thank for that. Including... Especially you, Alfin. Don't worry about it. We're friends, after all. Yeah, <laughs> we are. That, that look, though. That look of you getting hit with the friend zone card. I how Bro, much it's going to I know this man did not just hit him with a we're friends card. The ship had a better uh, the ship had a better head start than when I first thought. If you wanted to get in that before things pop off, and uh, now it's time. I know this motherfucker didn't just say pop off. Really? Whatever. Look who's up! Good timing. We're closing in on her stern as we speak. It's not a Tales game That's without the ship. uh She's huge. Law, go gather the others, will you? Think you'll be able to flank them without getting spotted? Yeah, with the fog as our ally, I think I might just pull it off. As long as we ain't too noisy, we should be okay. What'll you do if they catch on to us? 
Not much I can do. A ship that size, they'll probably blow us to bits before we ready cannons. Persistent little things. Evidently, I shouldn't have spared the wretched vermin. Hungry already, my dear? Worry not. For you shall have plenty to feast upon shortly. Perfect. You managed to get us right up beside them. I'll stay with the ship so we can leave as soon as you're done. Good. Then let's find Almadria. Question is, though, can I teleport uh, once I get on here? Mobile Fortress Gra Grandia. And all these Zoogles everywhere. Okay, so we can't leave. What brought this on? What you said helped to calm me. Uh, don't mention it. Almadria's near. Then we've got to find a way to get through somehow. Let's see if we can find something that'll release it. Okay, so it's this one. What is that huge flower looking thing up there? Is that the ship's engine? Indubitably. As one might expect, large ships require large engines in order to sail. And if we destroyed it? We might well sink the ship. Who knows if we would be able to escape before that happens. Uh. Almadria sure has been busy since the contest began. This isn't Almadria's doing. You mean she didn't build this? The body, yes. However, my guess is that the engine comes from a starship. A starship? As in one of those vessels used to go to and from Lenegas? Correct. The technology employed on Lenegas and in starships is more advanced than anything in our daily lives. Almadria may be resourceful, but she could never produce an engine like this on her own. You mean to tell me we've got even bigger enemies waiting for us up in the sky? 
Ugh, my head hurts just thinking about it. Don't worry about that for now. Just focus on taking care of Almadria. <laughs> Let me guess, it's stuff that she got right there. Ooh. What is ooh, what was that lag? What is this? Now that's what I call a ship. Yeah. The biggest one in all of Mahogsar. So big that it took years to construct. For all we know, Kelzalik may well have been smuggling materials to help build it. In which case, it would be yet another mistake on my part. We don't know that she was only getting materials from Menencia. You think it's possible that they might have come from elsewhere, too? Yeah, I guess I could see it. But what do you think Almadria plans to do from here on out? She'll be filling her coffers with gold, most likely. I just... I then just realized every, all the, the guys have the eye patches. Get out. Or something to that effect, at least. I wouldn't put it past her. She's strong yet shrewd, and will stoop to any low. A dangerous one indeed. She's not the first, and she won't be the last. This is a lord we're talking about, remember? Sounds like you've made up your mind already. There was never anything to decide. No one who can smile like that while doing what she did deserves to roam free. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. This might not be the best time, but if you have a minute... Hmm? That mask of yours. It was shattered by a blow from Balsef when you fought back in Calaglia, correct? Yeah, thanks for the reminder. I thought I was a goner. Balsef's brute strength was in a league all its own. Yet half the mask remains. It's remarkably durable. Too durable to be Danon in origin. Shion said the same thing. As if the fact I was wearing it meant there had to be more to me than met the eye. You recalled your name when the mask broke, I hear. Yeah, that's right. Although to tell you the truth, I'm a little scared what might happen when I lose the remaining half. Then again, the idea of not doing something because I'm afraid scares me even more. That's why I go on fighting. Only he who first faces the night catches a glimpse of the dawn. Come again? It's nothing. Forget I said anything. At least somebody from the new crew asked about it. Also, dang it. Of course they blocked the door when I tried to leave. Of course they did. I'm sorry, what what the hell was that? Edge Searing Gale. No 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 hold on. That was um explosive ring. Alright, so if I switch these two around. They've really got us on the ropes. Don't forget to heal your wounds. I feel like I'm gonna have to level up before uh, this gets better. Oh, 
Flying free! Why can't they take it still? Shield, can you take care of that? No sooner said than done! Do it, Shield! Slide! The enemy reveals arc, too. You'll soon see about that! Searing Gale! Where are you going? Radiant On your knees. Too fast! Stand back! I'll trip it up! No! No! Not today! Damn it! Damn it! Come on! Thank you. Thank you. Okay, how long is Rumo just losing health? Like, oh my god. Look sharp. Lightning I've used a bit too much healing. Alright, there's gotta be something in this room if they had a red guard defending it. Unless it, they were just defending the chest, I guess? Nah, I gotta go this way. This'll make us even more formidable. Natural vest. Oh, you've got to be shitting me. Little help. Fuck it. Magnificent than the musculature of a warrior. Perhaps it is in search of this perfect beauty that I myself am drawn into battle. <laughs> Looks like we've spotted one of Hoodle's friends. Yeah. So. Are we supposed to go from here? Definitely not that way. Ah. Little help! Oh, I can't heal you forever. Oh, no, you don't just realize that Outfin's uh, burst start 
his, or I guess, I don't know what you want to call it, his burst attack is basically just a nerf version of, uh, of Velvet's attack. Like, when you think about it, it's... I'm reaching my limit, you guys. The only difference is, is that Alfin's Alfin's requires him to essentially kill himself while yeah, you know, everybody else is pretty much just oh, you know, just keep attacking as hard as you can. Looks like some solid equipment. Is there really, like, nothing on this floor that I can really do for that? It's not like I can just go to a higher floor and do something. Yeah, there's nothing in that room. These, wait, they act These motherfuckers actually follow me. Go ahead and prepare it. Ah, here it is. You know, in hindsight, I didn't have to do all that fighting just to find one switch. Um. Yeah, I ain't fucking with that. Neat. All right. So going through over here. Ha! 
Slayer the Malata! Benedict, you're right. In here! Okay, gonna survive very well. I'll crush you! Lightning reflexes! Tenebrous! God, we, we, yeah, we, we, we need. Yeah, we, we really need other Mystic Arts, because I swear to God, I see Tenebrous Claw one more time at a time. I'll take you all on. Wait, when did you get? When the heck did she get? You know what? I'm not gonna question it. Forgive me. Oh you might go again. On your I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. On your own. Almost. You're wide open. Talon Hurricane. He's such a failure. Stalagmite. Who has a shot? Ha! You're mine! I'll see you in Not so fast! Nothing rush up! Raging Luna Storm! Far enough! Nightmare rush up! Raging Luna Storm! Behold! The Earth Pope! Tectonic Vision! Alright, uh, bring back Law. I swear, pretty much all my life bottles are for Law at this point. This one's got your name on it! Action to action! Do anything in armor is all mine! Watch this! We can't get out of this! She sure spared no expense on her castle. What I've this must be the captain's quarters. The presence of the spirit vessel and the sheer extravagance on display can leave no doubt. <laughs> There's no one here. Yeah, but I doubt she's out for a moonlight stroll. You think she jumped ship and ran away again? I doubt it. 
The conniving witch is probably up to something. Agreed. In any case, as long as she hasn't suddenly sprouted wings, she has to be somewhere on the ship. Let's keep looking. Oh! We didn't get thrown into a boss fight. I was half expecting a boss fight. Considering how this game has been boss fight, hell yeah. The way this key's been placed, it's like she's daring us to come find her. Yeah, like it's all some damn game to her. Oh. What's wrong, sweetie? Is something scaring you? Maybe he just doesn't like being in her room. I think there's more to it than that. What could it be? Yeah, let me just teleport off of the ship so I can actually get healed. You guys want to rest here? Better rest up while we can. I'll see you again tomorrow. <laughs> 